हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्वाइंट्स ऐप माय सेल्फ विग्नेश सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम फॉर जॉइनिंग मी इन दिस वीडियो सो एज यू माइट हैव सीन इन द थंबनेल टुडेस टॉपिक इज अबाउट ओपन इंटरेस्ट सो अ वेरी बेसिक लेवल एनालिटिकल टूल आई वुड से सो लाइक ईच एंड एवरी ट्रेडर हु ट्रेड्स इन डेरिवेटिव्स ओपन इंटरेस्ट इज यूजुअली देयर गो टू टूल और यू कैन से अ गो टू इंडिकेटर व्हिच ईच एंड एवरीवन यूजेस व्हाइल analyzing any stock for say support or resistance or usually for determining your stop losses and target so it is a widely used tool a uh, very well known tool i would say so this is usually i would say a beginner friendly video those who are starting their career in stock market so this how to analyze a open interest this will be definitely helpful for a beginner okay so before starting the video if you are new to quants app and if you haven't installed the application yet i would request you to install the application at the earliest uh, the link for installing the application i have mentioned it in the description below so as soon as you install the application immediately you will be unlocking the benefits of 25 free tools that will definitely help you to improve your trading journey apart from that as you know quants app has approximately 70 to 80 tools out of which yes 25 are free of cost but the paid version like approximately 50 to 55 tools which are paid so if you want to explore them i have also given the uh, video library link in the description you can click it it will automatically redirect you to our video library page or else if you have installed the application what you can do is just go to learn section under self learning go to video library okay so what is video library basically video library is i would say the banks of videos uh, whatever tools which quants app has we have covered almost all the tools over here and that too in multiple languages it is covered just filter it out in the language english hindi marathi and tamil are the four languages which we have covered so you can definitely choose the language as per your convenience and you can explore these videos while exploring the videos if you have any sort of difficulty the helpline number is handy on the screen you can definitely pick your uh, pick your phone up and call us anytime okay so let's start today's topic okay so say for example let me first show you an example so basically what is an open interest okay if you are asking me what is an open interest before starting this video so open interest usually helps you to identify what writers are doing how else how writers are behaving in the market okay see because the whole game you can say is uh, usually played by the writers okay the more and more writers are present at xyz level it becomes difficult for the price to break that level because writers are the ones who actually take exorbitant risk as compared to a buyer because in case of buying if you see the risk is limited yes although the reward is unlimited the risk is limited but when it comes to option writing the writers take exorbitant risk and the reward is very much limited okay so usually with open interest data you can gauge the writers position in the market like at which level call writers are present at which level put writers are present what is the volume how many contracts are opened at xyz levels and based on that you can decide whether to go long in a particular stock whether to go short what should be your target what should be your sl everything okay so let's say this is a resistance okay and say this is the support so usually based on technical charts yes we usually see the recent swing high recent swing low and accordingly we mark a support and a resistance correct usually what happens the stock oscillates between these levels correct now how this resistance and support is framed okay usually a stock moves up and it again retraces again from here it reverses again it retraces so why is these levels formed or else how these levels are formed in the market is because of the open interest data you can say okay because usually at this level at resistance level we can see that call writers are active so when more and more call writers are present you can easily say that pressure is being built up at that level and whenever you see say for example at this level from the bottom it is 
reversing again and again. Correct. So whenever it reverses from here, we say that put writers are present over here. When put writers are building their position, the support becomes stronger, you can say. Correct. Now, say for example, instead of put writers increasing their position, say put writers have started unwinding their positions. That means this support will become weak. And there is a possibility that the stock might fall. Similarly, if call writers start to unwind their position, there is a possibility that the uh, resistance might get weaker and the stock might see a decent swing on the upside. Okay, So this is what we are going to analyze with the help of a simple option analytical tool that is open interest data. Okay, So let me give you a brief introduction about the home page of Quantsap. So if you see on the right hand side top, uh, you can see the major three indices like Nifty, Fin Nifty and Bank Nifty. Okay, And also the narration is mentioned over here if you see. So this will help you to gauge an overall bird's eye view like say whether Nifty is having a long built up or long unwinding is going on and what is the built up in Fin Nifty, what is the built up in Bank Nifty along with the OI change, price change, everything. And apart from that, if you see, there are uh, quite fancy indicators over here like option chain, unusual option activity, open interest. So you can definitely explore these tools. This will definitely help you to improvise your trading. Okay. So now let me get into track under options OI. If you see, there is open interest. So let me open this. Okay. Now, what is open interest and how to read this data? Okay. First, let me give you a brief introduction about the interface. So can you see the search section? So if you want to check the open interest, like where the call writers are present or where the put writers are present for any particular stock, so you can go and search any stock, whichever you want to check. Okay. And then comes expiry, like whichever expiry you're willing to trade. Say, for example, if you are a stock specific trader, then only monthly expiry you can select. But if you are an index lover, then every week you have an expiry. Accordingly, you can go and select the expiry as per your convenience okay then comes the lot size okay and this is like both call and put like if you want to check out only for call you can keep it only for call if you want to check out only the put writers you can go and check that but usually i would prefer to check both at a time like call writers and put writers so i can easily figure out the support as well as the resistance okay so and then comes see here if you see from date and time everything is mentioned so do not change any setting i would request you to keep these settings as default okay now if you want to see it in the horizontal format or vertical format however you can go and check these things but i would again uh, recommend you to keep it in the uh, default mode okay so now if you see over here there are four indications mentioned can you see the dark green box is call addition, you can say. A green hollow box, can you see? A green hollow box is, you can say, call unwinding. A red dark box, if you see over here, that is put addition. And a red hollow box is put unwinding, you can say. Okay, so if you try to check out over here, see. Give me a second. So currently, if you see in Nifty, I have selected 26th September. Let us change and let us go for any stock specific. Okay, let us take say HDFC Bank. Let me check HDFC Bank. Okay, so can you see the future price is 1637. 1637 is the current future price. Now, if I go and select this 26 September expiry, so currently there is a slight resistance at 1660, but post that if I see the strong resistance is somewhere around 1700. If you see 57,11,750 contracts were opened and today if you see 9,27,850 contracts got added, can you see it in the bracket? So if the figure in the bracket is in negative, that means this much contracts have got unwinded, but as of now it is in positive. So you can say that this much contracts are added. Okay. Now, if you see, I'm clicking this. So the strike is 1700. Okay. So at 1700, I can say that 
this much contracts are opened that is this much writers are opened okay this much writers are present at this level so this will be a very strong resistance for hdfc bank so this is how you are going to read the data okay so as of now if you ask me about the support it looks around see the longest red bar see usually if you are confused just go and check out the longest green bar the immediate longest green bar and the immediate or nearest you can say the longest red bar. So the longest green bar will indicate you a resistance and the longest red bar will indicate a support level. So as of now, what I can see is 1700 can act as a strong resistance. And on the downside, if I see 1600 can act as a crucial level, that is a decent support level we can say okay so whenever say the unwinding starts at this level automatically this tool will indicate you you need not bother about it whenever instead of this dark green box if this kind of hollow box appears that means the positions have started getting unwinded that means we can expect a further upside move now let us go and check out one more stock hd fc life let us take hdfc life okay now again let me go and plot 26th september now if you see the current price is 741 what is the immediate resistance that you can see on the screen that is 750 and now if you see instead of dark green here i can see hollow green box can you see that means this much contracts have got unwinded that means People are now afraid, the writers are now afraid that this level is no more safe in HDFC life and we can expect a further upside in HDFC life. Now, if you see over here at 750 strike, 18 lakh 48 thousand contracts were opened out of which 2 lakh 40 thousand 900 contracts got unwinded at this level. So once HDFC life starts sustaining above this level, that is above 750, then we can see further sharp unwinding at 750 level which can trigger the price even more upset that is say maybe around 800 levels and now if i see the strong support looks somewhere near 700 okay so now as of now if you want to track any one particular stock that should be hdfc life because the expiry which i have chosen is 26th September that is the next month's expiry. So in the next month's expiry at immediate resistance level, I can see unwinding has started very sharply. So maybe a stock to watch out for, I would say. So if this say breaches this level and if the unwinding starts sharply, we can expect further upside move. So I hope you might have understood how to use this tool. Okay, how to read the open interest data. So if you like this video, kindly uh, like, share, subscribe, comment and stay tuned with us so that we can share more informative videos. Okay. Thanks everyone. Thanks for your valuable time.